and welcome to another episode of In The Mix. This is the season finale and what a panel to have here on board. Of course, I am Jesse Jackson Kauraitha and joined by my co-host there, Ashwin Berry. And of course, the man that is a coach and a journalist himself, Michael Uwanga. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Good to be here, man. Good to be here, Jesse. Well, Mike, it's good to have you here. I'm sure you have been here before. Yeah, yes. And having you for the final episode of the season is quite great. Um, and it's a privilege also to have that is a man by the name of Ashwin Berry. I mean, we spend every week together, but it's yeah. good to be here in this space. <laughs> Gentlemen, we'll speak more about what's happening around the football world. Of course, there is, as we call it, the season finale. There is a lot of competitions that are concluding. We have the FA Cup also concluding this weekend. All that is after the break. Champions League, we've got the favourites, and if they're on song, well, they'll give us a bit of everything to enjoy. Well, here we go, a burst of taste, and the break is on here, it's a red card. The 2023-24 UEFA Champions League. Be moved with every game live on Supersport. Upgrade to Compact Plus. All right, gentlemen, um, it is indeed a pleasure having you here. As I alluded to earlier, well, one of the traditions we actually forgot to say. Mm. What are we having, Ashwin? As All right, okay, let's talk about these snacks. So, you know, sometimes the snacks are very creative, as they're supposed to be. But this is the finale of In The Mix. So we're trying to keep things traditional. All right, this, this is how you snack when you watch sport. It's peanuts, it's chips. You don't need anything outside of that. Perhaps a towel for lager, I, I believe that works. But peanuts and chips and you get it done. So that's our snack today. We're keeping it traditional, Jesse. We're keeping it traditional. Mm. Michael Wanga, um, you have been following clubs this season. You have been there. It is the PST bet, NFA Cup. We are heading, that is, into the quarterfinals. Big matches to be played this weekend. What could be your predictions? And what do you think of the clubs that made it that far? Uh, are we talking about the men or female or just in general? In general, it's the PST bet. I don't want to generalize it. <laughs> okay. okay. Just, uh, to, as, yes. as a follower of more of uh, women football, mm -hmm. PST bet NFA Cup, where there is, uh, we, know, we know about the uh, FC Ongos ladies. Mm -hmm. They are obviously favorites to lift the cup. They've never won that cup before. It surprised me, it's uh, Nampol that won it in 2018. Mm -hmm. On the men's side, obviously African stars, we are, there's no secret about it. Uh, they're the favorites uh, to lift the cup and mm -hmm. uh, uh, they have already secured the league title, similar to the ladies, uh, FC Ongos. So it's going to be very interesting to see. But Nampol, they are also one of those teams that you never know. They are unpredictable when it comes to uh, these cup competitions. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Uh, Nampol, didn't they face Ongos? recently yeah, they, and they managed to come with a favorable result i don't know if it's that clear cut for african stars um i i, I think it's understandable to want it to be so but you know sometimes season and tournaments tournaments can be a little different you know yes. and um easily nampo those are those are contenders year in year out so i think it's going to be a i think it's going one. to be a tough one well yeah. we do have the fixtures for you if you can see the big teams there that will be playing that is this coming weekend that is the clubs there. Okahanja 
versus Nas Babes. That's the women team. Comas Nampo FC ladies against Eros FC ladies. Young Brazilians FC against Oresia Sativa. That is the men's side. African Stars, of course, against that is Tigers FC. Those matches will be on Saturday and Sunday. Another big one there, Beauties FC, Yunam Bokis. FC Ongos ladies against Ramblers ladies, PST Bed, Comas Nampo against Okahanja United. Mighty Gunners will play one of the surprise packages of the season. That is a shocker. Chula Chula. Gentlemen, before we cross over, because I can smell something in the kitchen mm -hmm. on that side, of course, we do have a gentleman that side that Otis Daniels will actually introduce later on in mm -hmm. the show. One of the things that we have not spoken about so far, it is the NFA Cup, yeah. um, equivalent to the PSD bed NFA Cup I'll, here I'll in, in Namibia. <laughs> a big it. one, Manchester United <laughs> against Manchester City. Mm. Michael, a quick one here. Um, we'll come talk more about it, but just your predictions shortly. Obviously, the noisy neighbours, they are favourites to lift this cup, but mm. take nothing away from United. They know they've done it before in the past. They've been a dominant force. Mm. Sure, if you ask me who's going to win this cup, maybe just sit a little bit, maybe a 2 1. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, and as one? Before we swing over, just a hint to the gentleman who's Brian. He's got a song called Gaima, <laughs> and you're going to know which team he's supporting tomorrow. However, <laughs> this is all I'm going to say. Um, yeah. The win is a foregone conclusion, gentlemen. We mm. saw what happened with Manchester United. They will not get anything done. The only prediction I'm interested in is whether Ten Hag gets fired tomorrow or not. Or oh, not. That's <laughs> it. We'll speak more about that. But first, let's cross over. That is to the kitchen with Fireball. Otis is there waiting to show us what do they have that is on the bright plate. Introducing 061 Express, brought to you by Synergy in proud partnership with Vintage Express. Here's your chance to make your voice heard to celebrate the businesses that make Vintage exceptional. From your favorite coffee spot to the salon that always gets your style just right. It's time to shine a spotlight on the gems of our city. Over the next eight weeks, it's your chance to vote for your favorites to recognize the best of the best. Nominations open on the 21st of April and close on the 5th of May. To nominate your favorite business, simply save this number. 085-785-6231 and WhatsApp hashtag 061 Express or scan the QR code below and follow the on-screen instructions. By nominating your favorites, you're not only supporting local businesses, but you also stand a chance to win your share of 50,000 Namibian dollars in cash. The voting process will be the same as the nominations process, using the Synergy chatbot and the hashtag 061 Express. Voting opens on June 5th and closes on June 23rd. Make sure to cast your vote for the best of the best. The winners will be announced on June 28th. 061 Express, celebrating the heartbeat of Ventuk. Get ready to make your mark. Thank you, Jesse and the gang. So right here with me, I am in the company of <laughs> KK, the man with the master plan and our grill master for today. How are you, man? Are you good? No, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me, man. So what's on the menu for today, brother? Okay, um, here we have some pork chops. Um, these coals are actually on fire right now. Mm -hmm. We have some delicious uh, succulent chops here. Um, over there, we have some Buddha a little yes. salad. Um, so yeah, working on that. So, so why chops? Why, why do you prefer chops? Look, um, I'm more of a lamb chop guy, yeah. but um, you know, yeah. some people prefer, prefer uh, pork chops pork, more. Yeah. And um, you know, I like it because of you know, the fattiness every now and then. Mm -hmm. uh, but chops are just easier, quicker, uh, especially for a braai. So. So, so how do you prefer your meat? Um, I like it medium. I need uh -huh. to. I need to see a little, a little, a little, a little juice. Yeah, yeah it so, needs so to be a little you, pink. You are a music man. If you, if, if you can spit the rhyme, well, who would it be? <laughs> Ish. I don't know. Um, Which team? Which team? Oh, for a team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would probably do a diss track for my own team. 
Who's or for my manager, rather. Who is that? Eric Ten Hag, Manchester oh, United. Goodness, man. Yeah, and how would it go? Uh, ish. I don't think this is the right place to do it. Just give me a flavor, man. Give me a flavor. It's not the right place to do it. Not the right place. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, soccer is the name of the game on yeah. this show. Uh, we've got the meet mm -hmm. going. So who do you support? I support Manchester United. Um, uh -huh. I've supported uh -huh. this team since I was, yo, what, 9, 10? Yes. Yeah, yes. it's literally... So, so besides music, do you play soccer? I do. I wish I could, I could play as, as, as well as, yes. Yes. you know... I'm not, I'm not the best, but um, yeah, you know, for... On local front? Local front, I've always been Orlando Pirates. I know mm. it's, it's going a little... I'm a bugger, bugger yeah, coincidence. It's, it's, it's going a little bad with them, uh, yeah. but you know, I've, I've always been Pirates. My, my uncle used to be the medic. Uh -huh. um, so back in the day, you know, I would join the guys in, in, in the changing rooms. I'd, I'd be on the bench and so on. So yeah. I, what I, do you think of the season? I heard they just got relegated. I haven't, I haven't seen any matches, but One I of heard the most prolific teams in Namibia yeah, history. Yeah, but that's, um, that's soccer, man. That's it soccer. is. It is. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Um, I also don't want to, you know, throw blame around. Um, I've heard some people say it's management. Some people say it's this, it's that. But um, I honestly hope they get it together. Yes. Maybe the drop. Um, would, would, would revitalize yeah, exactly, the, the side. Exactly. Exactly. Maybe who's, it's exactly who's what your they favorite need. Player? Back then, it used to be Rian Kluter. Uh -huh. yeah. Amazing guy, yeah. 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 I've seen him in action. And Very yeah. talented. Yeah. So uh, I think we're going to have a watch at the PS uh, bet. Okay. Video, okay. And then we'll continue our conversation. Okay, sure. no problem. Oh, oh, that's wonderful. And that is what champions do. It feels good to football with GoTV. Works well. Nobody but GoTV gives you all the games of La Liga and the DSTV Premiership. This is extraordinary. The Premier League and UEFA games that matter and the world's favorite cup competitions. Get your GoCoder with one month of Super for only $799 to enjoy the football Vuma. GoTV. Love it. It is once that it is the one that um, encompasses players hailing from all walks of life. The BST Ben NFL Cup is big by design, and let me qualify this. Uh, we have 36 clubs of the nationwide first division, 168 clubs in the regional second divisions. 12 clubs in the FNB Women's Super Leagues, 16 clubs in the Deb Marine Namibia Premier Football League that compete in, the, in this unprecedented inclusive men and women's football competition. In essence, 6,960 players compete for the top honors of the player of the PSD Bet NFA Cup Award in the men and women's categories. The 6,960 players do not include administrators and men's officials. And when you do your maths, you will <clears throat> realize that the impact of the PSD at NFA Cup was not only enormous, that will enrich the narrative of the NFA in heaps and bounds. The birth of the PSD at NFA Cup is an intriguing story, and such birth of the NF, of the PSD Bet NFA Cup and its baptism today at this official launch and unveiling arouses the curiosity of everybody in football. This is an indication that the Executive Council of the NFA works beyond the call of duty to increase development to increase professionalism at all levels of football, to increase the administrative levels, to increase revenue generation, and ultimately make the NFA self sustain. Oh, that's wonderful! And that is what champions do! It feels good to football with GoTV. Works space well and scores! Nobody but GoTV gives you all the games of La Liga and the DSTV Premiership. This is extraordinary! 
the Premier League and UEFA games that matter and the world's favorite cup competitions. Get your goal coder with one month of Super for only $799 to enjoy the football Vuma. Go TV. Love it. Welcome back. That is to In The Mix. And of course, gentlemen, I'm sure you all are itching to speak. I've given you the platform in terms of the Premier League, um, the NFA, the uh, PSD Bet Cup, as well as the FA Cup taking place. Ladies and gentlemen, we did have the conclusion of the English Premier League as well. And I would like to show you um, some of how the teams there finished in that table with Manchester City, of course, being crowned as champions. Uh, well, my friend, please, Ashwin Berry, uh, I'm sure you are quite disappointed <laughs> by not actually um, winning the league there. It was quite close I and think tight. quite is the correct term. Mm -hmm. Because in the previous season, we lost out by five points, this time by two points. Mm -hmm. It's very clear we've improved um, over the last two seasons. I'm not sure every football club can say that. I'm not even sure Manchester City can say they've actually improved in this season. So knowing that, knowing we've got a young squad, we've got a um, young coach Arteta, it's going to be a long time. And these are the words of Pep Guardiola. He thinks we, he, we are the main ones. In fact, today Chelsea uh, listed its list of requirements for managers and he said has to be prepared to deal with Guardiola and Arteta. He didn't yes. mention Tenak, so... Michael, <laughs> you, you, you're quite a, a vocal Arsenal fan. I'm just quite surprised that I'm joined by two Arsenal fans on this table. I'm actually about to hide under here. But what have you made of the EPL season? No, it, uh, it was uh, a good season, uh, but disappointing for some teams. Of, 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 for probably Manchester United finishing in the top four last season, eight this season. For Chelsea, it was a bit of an improvement. For Liverpool, it was a mix of uh, results or let's say possession-wise. I'm not quite sure if that was the target. But there are other smaller teams. Crystal Palace, I thought they ended up well and coming to the end of the season. They've beaten Manchester United. So Arsenal, probably they can say that they've improved. The points, the clean sheets, the win away, goal difference, every department, they did very well. But probably the biggest disappointment of all obviously to be Manchester United until maybe the season should just start and Manchester can start off the season good and wow. people will forget about last season. Listen, there's a slim chance of Manchester United showing up well tomorrow because that's their last chance to qualify for Europe, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, it is a little interesting to talk Europe and Manchester United fighting to qualify for Europa, not Champions League, but that's mm -hmm. where we are. Mm -hmm. But I, I wanted to know your thoughts on um, that Tottenham game, the Manchester City Tottenham game. Well, I think uh, Michael, Michael, as an Arsenal fan, I'm sure he was not focusing much on what was... But um, it was a very crucial game indeed, and um, Arsenal should have... Um, well, Tottenham Hotspurs um, had some moments, or most of the moments in that match, mm. where they could have actually given Arsenal all... Or given, given, them, given, hope, given themselves yeah. hope of a Champions League. And, and, and I think that was very interesting because mm -hmm. for the first time in England, we saw a team fully root against its own team, yeah. which I believe is the texture of Tottenham. And what Tottenham didn't understand at that moment is they weren't fighting for a Champions League spot. Mm -hmm. No, they were fighting for a Champions League spot for the next four years. Four years. It is impossible that Tottenham is going to be in the top four. It's just not happening. We, we, the number two is set. We used to go into the season knowing number one is set, but number two is set. I don't believe they're going to do any better than Aston Villa. Mm -hmm. I did think Chelsea, of course, was on a positive trajectory after the 5-0 win from Arsenal, 5-0 loss to Arsenal. Yeah. They were on a positive trajectory. Um, you're not going to count out Newcastle. And Manchester United, you, you, you've got more lives than regular cats. So it, you can it, always it, come it, back. You can always say something happen. If you look at that game, Tottenham game, it's because Aston Villa had won a match before Tottenham yes. played against City. So mm. Tottenham had nothing to play for, actually, mm. basically. That's all because they, they know we're out of the Champions League, but we are guaranteed a Europa League spot. Thank you so, uh, so much, gentlemen. I'm no sure the food <laughs> in the kitchen is <laughs> Otis. I can't wait to taste what they are cooking. I'm sure KK, the man himself, wants to impress as he has done before on the stage. This time he's in the kitchen trying to impress and make us a hot plate, as they say. We'll go for a break and hear from Otis and KK in terms of how far they are with the bride.
We've always had the bravery to stand up for what is Namibian. From protecting our homes to fighting injustices, we still celebrate what it means to us and raise a glass to those who show their bravery. No matter how they take on the world, with all this potential in the land of the brave, what will you do to make this Namibia your Namibia? Yes, Jesse Jackson, I want to offer you some uh, relief. We've got a Chelsea fan over here and a Manchester fan, so you're not all on your own on that side. Uh, KK, the grill is coming. Yeah, along. yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. You can smell it. It's almost ready. So you've been quiet as a musician, and what's, what's happening? What's happening? Uh, well, I took what I would like to call a little hiatus. Yes. Um, so almost five years now. Mm -hmm. My last project was in 2019, okay. uh, Enri, with the song Kema. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to take a step back. I'm, yes. uh, you know, I have, I have other responsibilities. Yes, yes. So I thought um, I spent, what, 12 years focusing on my dream, yes. uh, trying to push my dream, trying to push the music and all of that. Yes. Um, and I neglected so many other things. So let me take a step back, uh, you know, get some things in order. Um, yeah, and now I feel like I need to you are there. need to come you are back. Ready. Yeah, I need to come back. I need to come back. Uh, if you could collab with anyone out there, who would it be? Locally? Yeah, locally. Locally, uh, who haven't I worked with? Yo, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but right now, they. Are, Oh, a few guys. I want to work with some new guys. Yes. Um, I heard some. I heard some good, good music, man. I was in studio what a week ago. Yes. Um, it was the first time in a very long time. Okay. I heard some new songs, some new sounds, and there are a couple of talented guys that I wouldn't mind working with. Okay. Then finally, time for redemption. Yeah. What would you like to see your team do tomorrow? Honestly, I'm gonna be very honest. Yes. Should we win tomorrow? it might mean that Eric Ten Hag stays. Mm -hmm. And you can, you can judge me, you can say that I'm a sellout or whatever, I don't care. But, but you really want it bad, man. I want United to lose tomorrow. You want them to? Yes. To okay. So Honestly, so, so, so. winning tomorrow wouldn't, wouldn't be justice. We, we don't deserve it. Uh -huh. I know it's a cup, it's, it's okay. not the Premier League, but we don't deserve it. Okay. We've been awful all season. We need to lose tomorrow. So I can hear the guy's stomach screaming on that side. Yeah. I think it's time we need to take off the meat and... Yeah, just a few up. more minutes, then we're good to go. Cool. Okay. The Champions League, we've got the favourites. And if they're on song, well, they'll give us a bit of everything to enjoy. The 2023-24 UEFA Champions League. Be moved with every game live on Supersport. Upgrade to Compact Plus. Well, as discussed, it is the season finale of In The Mix. I'm sure we will be back with more football once the season restarts. But gentlemen, um, it has been a privilege. I'm sitting here with you. Um, short, shortly before the men bring the plates there, what can you do to sum up the seasons? I mean, like I said, uh, Manchester City is strong as ever. You can't deny that. Arsenal fighting hard to I... get there. Manchester United, we'll see what tomorrow does for them. Should and, I uh, cut it up for you? Sorry. We'll see, we'll see how Chelsea's search for a new coach goes. This is how you do a finale. Yes. This is how you do a finale. Well, KK, <laughs> can you just tell us um, 
what do we have here and okay we have a few it? pork chops here mm -hmm. uh, i mean this is not for you guys to get full this is just mm -hmm. a nibble on <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we have a few chops here um can we have a taste yeah sure yeah, dive in dive in dive in dive in jump in guys rhymes and it rhymes perfectly this is the life i hope you guys like it man no, i hope you guys like it well, once you're done, KK, thank you. Mm. I think you have you have done yourself here. And for you, mm. ladies and gentlemen, it has been a privilege and honor having you all, these viewers, during this season. And we look forward to catching you again the next time around. Gentlemen. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.